So that's your D260. This is your B260. And then these are your A trims. This is where your gutter will sit. This is your drip trim. And this is your uh, A200, yeah? Okay. So what we're going to do is, we've got this loaded with a bit of mastic in here. And we've already started doing a little bit of it. So just to finish it off. And we're going to go along this joint. Well, along the top is actually you put a flashing over that, so you wouldn't actually do the top piece. <coughs> and they say, strictly speaking, you're supposed to be uh, allowing a little bit of breathability from your room upwards. Yeah, we're gonna do it straight away. Right. Now you can use it on its own as a sealer if you like. But when you're using it with this, because it's all made from the same material, we're going to go prime straight over it right away. And the primer will actually give it a bit more pliability as well. Right? Yeah, this Straight off of there. Oh, yeah, we can go straight on so we can, yeah. So we're going to give this five or ten minutes to cure, it won't take long. Lay our base of lava down here first, okay? Now we're using a four inch tape. All liquid underneath, so it's fully getting underneath there. Yeah. Throw that back down. Is that it? Just rolling it down, making sure she's flush, no air holes or pockets or anything like that.
to this particular mat now is a powder bound mat and even though it's sitting in a corner it shouldn't really be folding but it actually breaks down with this stuff so it's a lot easier to use now all right works in around the corner for you nearly huh it nearly works in round for you you know exactly. molds in, molds in nearly yeah that's what i was trying to say yeah. was george i was saying it to there earlier on see that george that's the new mat in there i purposely put it in the corner there and see the way i've just rounded it just by touching it oh yeah yeah you know what I mean? Yeah, so Is it powder wove or something? Powder like bound, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. It's still fiberglass, right? It's, it's still fiberglass, but it's not emulsion bound or emulsion matted. So it's, a, it's using powder as the binder, so it breaks down nicely when you're using it, you see. You only have to put a light layer on the edges and a dark grey top coat looks real nice as well. We'll talk about that in a second. Has it spelled well that top, that top coat? Yeah. Really well. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. Really well. Um, so like one uh, one tin of it will do about 30 square metres and you, you get one man to roll it like 30 square metres in 10 minutes. Like it flies on very fast. See when you were saying about the white spares, does it need that as well? No. Oh. No need for white spirit or anything like that, no. It could be down a few weeks or whatever, and uh, you're going back to do something or join on or whatever. You rub it with the xylene, and then uh, rub it with xylene, and then uh, prime it, and then go on with your lather. Well, I can put the second coat also if you want. Straight away, yeah. Just use the matting. Simple. You've got wet on wet, liquid matting, liquid straight away. You can build it up your two and a half <coughs> mils. You can come back. You can leave it at that now, and that's fine. Or you can come back the next day and put your dark grey top coat on. That's your 25 year warranty spec, and that'll be really, really durable. You know what I mean? You'll have your three and a half mil on there, flexible. It'll do I'm more everything. The about the angle. How? 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 Um, you can put it on a vertical surface if you want. We also have a product there called Vertical. Lava Vertical, same thing in a thicker form, and you can use it on vertical surfaces. I'd recommend to do to get your 2.3 or 2.5 mil build up on there. Uh, use matting and do it in multiple coats. All right, that's how you do that. Either multiple coats, use matting, or use the lava de uh, detail or lava vertical. Okay. And that's how you build up the thickness on a vertical surface or a sloped surface. Any other questions? So is that 25 year warranty spec now? That will be now. Without, will be, the, without the top coat? Is without, the top coat. Yeah. without the top coat. Because now there's just the top specs and warranties, right? This here, you can see that that's like 1.5-ish mil. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That needs another bit of juice there. Right here, we've brought that up. That's now nearly 3.5 mil thick. This is your 25 year warranty spec. The top coat on top of that there will just increase the lifetime of it and it'll look better. You can also do it at, you have two specs, right? You either have up to 2.5 mil, no, 2.5 mil of Lava 20, with or without matting, depending on the surface, and that's a 25 year warranty. Or 1.8 kg of Lava, 1.8 mil of Lava with top coat on it, and you don't need to use the matting surface dependent so that goes for metal and stuff like that but if you're going over timber uh, you have to obviously tape joints tape joints on metal all that stuff or if you're going over felt and asphalt it requires matting and you're going to be pushed onto this spec anyway the, for simplicity the best thing is 2.5 kg per square meter will basically get you up to this spec all day long that's your 25 year warranty keep it simple and then if you want you've got your dark grey top coat on there and that just prolongs the life and once applied in theory the system will last forever because it's a zero degradation coat okay
That's it, finished. For the man, if someone was asking me there a while ago, what's the quickest way of doing it? This is the quickest way. Wet on wet, you don't need to come back and do any more layers. Yeah, yeah. That's it, done now. You've got your 3.5 mil of lava down there. It's fully reinforced. That's it, job done. Clear top coat was applied, and then the, another layer of clear top coat is going to be applied to it now. So underneath that will have its two and a half mil of lava, and then your quartz sitting on top, yeah? Big roller. That's kind of intended for is walkways, balconies, terraces, car parks, all that kind of thing.